Come here, come here. Come here. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you one question. Yeah, go on, go on. Sorry. Let me ask you one question. So you're a practicing Catholic, yeah? I, I'm not, no more. But oh, I'm so, you, so now you're an atheist? Yeah, now I'm studying all religions. Saved by him. Yeah, I, I, listen, I know I'm studying the Torah, the Quran, as much as I can. I'm okay. reading as much as I can about everything. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, go on. Who's the first person to spread the word of God? Allah. Adam. Adam yeah. is the first, yeah? Okay, so the Jewish believe that the first person to spread the word of God is son of Abraham, am I correct? So? Yeah, no, uh, What's the point? My point is... So you believe Actually, no, they believe Adam as well. Yeah, yeah, Adam. They also they believe Adam. They definitely believe Adam yeah. as well, to spread the word of God. So Adam made Eve, yeah? And then son Adam, Adam made Eve, God made Eve. Yeah, but from, from Adam's rib? For, according to the Bible, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So according to the Quran? What is the point you're making? Uh, I, this is what I'm you know, Allah... I would get into the point of who was the first person to be sweet the word of God. This is the I've already given you the answer for that. Yeah. But what is the, what Adam, is the point? Adam you're... is the first person. Why are you shouting? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. What's your name? Dean. I speak loud, that's how I'm come across like that. My you don't need to. My name's Dean. Dean? Yeah. Oh, mashallah, you're near. near. I know. I Alhamdulillah. Know May Allah give you hidayah. Yes, to come to the Dean. I know. Al Islam. Listen. All my friends, let me tell you my thing as well. All yeah. my friends are Muslim. I'm the only Catholic out of all my friends. But you're not a Catholic anymore, are you? I am because that's my religion. No, no, but do you believe? No, 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 I ain't. Okay. Do you believe in God? I don't believe in the Trinity no more. Do you believe in God? I believe in God, one God. Alhamdulillah. So you're a Muslim. I live in. I believe in one. Do you God. believe in uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Yeah, I definitely believe. And in say all the, the Shahada. I believe in all the prophets. Bro, say the Shahada then. Yeah, you're a Muslim. I know. Say Ashhadu. <laughs> One Let me just finish this time. Let me finish this time before we do this. Yeah? I, mean, I mean it, I mean it. The first person to spread the word of God, yeah? Yeah, how do we know that that person's word is true? E explain that to me. Okay, good question actually. Yeah, very good that's question. What I want to know. You know, we believe in the Quran. Yeah. Yes, because we believe that's a revelation yeah. of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Given message. to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the last message yeah. from God, the last revelation, Never given to the last messenger of God. Yeah and the last prophet we believe in the testimony of the prophets okay yeah. so for example if there were things uh, which other people say and they are found out to be uh, false and not something um, credible yeah. then we reject that person even if they claim to be a prophet of God okay. the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he started to proclaim the message of God yeah. you know he said Allah is one God is one and the Quraysh his own tribe they rejected him yeah. because they at that time were pagans Anotheistic, yeah. they believed in multiple gods oh. and also the Almighty God. Yeah. Yes, they said there's no way. And then the other thing he said is that all men are equal in the eyes of God, and the ones who are who are the best, who are the righteous, by piety, they are the ones best in the eyes of God. Yeah. Not your status, not the fact that you're rich or the fact that you're black or white. Yeah. Okay, none of that counts. It's your piety by which Allah will um, raise you to the to the level, yeah. which according to him is like the highest level. Yeah. yeah? So when he started speaking about one God, yeah. about equality in men and women, that is when they got spooked. Okay. And they rejected him, even though before that they used to call him Alameen. Yes, okay. the trustworthy one. Okay. Yes, so they used to entrust him with their belongings. Yeah. And they used to trust him, they, would, they used to go on long breaks, you know, like go travel. And they used to come back and they knew that if we kept any possession with Prophet Muhammad, yeah. sorry, with Muhammad, then he will definitely give it back to us. Okay. So he, they entrusted him and they gave him the title of Alameen. Yeah. Yes, yeah. the trustworthy one. Okay. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yes, yeah. he said, he stood up on a, uh, on a mountain or a hill and he said, if I told you, he's speaking to the Quraysh people, that there is an army behind this mountain and they're coming to attack you, would you believe me? And they all said, yes, you're Alameen, you don't lie. Mm. Yes, we'll believe you. And then in the next statement, when he says that Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah, there's no God except Allah, yes, they immediately understood that he wants to destroy all our gods, which we hold dearly to, which our forefathers prayed to, which they worship. Yes? He said, as soon as he said that there is no other God except Allah, they knew that he wants to get rid of their tradition, their, their worship, everything, their idols, everything. And this is what they couldn't fathom. And the other thing is about the equality in humanity. Okay. He couldn't fathom that either. So when the Prophet Muhammad was given options like, we will, they said that please stop preaching this. Yeah. We will give you the wealth of this world. We'll give you leadership. We'll make you our leader. Yes. 
will give you land, will give you money, will give you women, all these things. Yeah. Yes? You know what he answered to his uncle who came with this message from the Quraysh? He said, even if you place the moon and the sun in one hand, yes? Sorry, the moon in one hand and the sun in the other hand, yes? Even then, I will not leave this mission of mine to preach the oneness of God. So you see the Prophet ﷺ had every opportunity. You know if somebody is an opportunist, yeah. if somebody wants to make money, you know there are many cults out there. Exactly, yes, yeah. They want to get rich quick. That's what they I'm want saying. women, they want all these That's things. That's the only question that I can question about it is that because this comes yes. from one person so long ago, Absolutely. books are so powerful. Yeah. yeah, books are so powerful. So basically the first person to follow Allah, even though they never knew it, was the Jewish people. The Jews. No, actually, they, they were, were following God. No, God. No. Abraham was not a Jew. You know that. Okay, Abraham wasn't a Jew. He wasn't a Jew. Okay. That's why Allah says in the Quran, he's neither a Jew nor a Christian. But he was from Al Hanif, means the, a person who believes in monotheism, pure monotheism. Are all the prophets like that? Then all you know? the prophets, so from you... Adam until Prophet Muhammad, they all were monotheists. They all worshipped the same God. But that's the, the one only God. thing I question is that because when you look at it, one person, as I said, books a powerful thing. Someone could have made the Torah a long time ago and said, da, 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 da. then it got changed to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? It's so just people changing, 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 changing. It did happen. You it know, did happen, yeah. So the Torah. I understand how it happened because of the prophets, different messages. Yeah. So, right. bro Brother Dean, what I'm saying is that look, this, the Torah, the Angel, the Zabur, all these were the true revelations from God. Okay. But they change over time. Mm -hmm. The reason they change is because this message was only meant for a particular time and for okay. a particular people. Okay. Yes? So they, in fact, in none of these books, if you read the entire Bible, yeah. nowhere will you find that this message is for all the all the world. It's a okay. universal message and for all the time. Yes? What does it say is that when, for example, when Moses spoke, spoke about the one true God, yeah. he said, what did he say? He says, hear, O Israel. Okay. Yes? The Lord our God is one. Okay. Why did he only address the Israelites? Think about it. I just gave you a hint yeah, you earlier. Did, you did. Because the message was only for them. Only for them. Yes, what did Jesus say? I've not come except for the lost sheep of Israel. Okay. So even when Jesus, in fact Jesus repeated the words of Moses in Mark 12, 29. Mm -hmm. Yes, he says the same thing. When the when the rabbi came to him and he asked him about the most important commandment, he said exactly verbatim to what Moses said. Here, O Israel, the Lord God is one. Yeah. Yes, because even Jesus' message was mainly for the people of Israel. Yes, However, when the last messenger came, hey. when the Prophet Muhammad came, he and he got the revelation, the Quran was revealed to him. The, in the Quran, yes, when the, uh, when Allah addresses, he says, Ya ayyuhan nas, hear O people. Yes? yes? When he's addressing for all, when he addresses to the mu'minun, he says, Ya ayyuhan mu'minun. Yes? Yes. Yeah, you al mu'minat. Yes, yes. Al mu'minun wal mu'minat means the believing men and the believing women. Okay. So this is how he addresses. Yeah. But the most important thing is he's addressing universally, not a particular Arab tribe. Yeah. He didn't say Yahya al Quraysh. Yes. Yes, I understand. The tribe of the Prophet That's, right. That's why I'm saying the message of the Quran is like you know the best message we see today every year yeah. is the Hajj. Okay. You know the Hajj, right? The pilgrimage yeah, to Mecca. Yeah, of course, of course. What do you see when you see the pilgrimage? When you see it on TV? Everybody going for God. Like Everybody God. worshiping Worship. one God. Yeah, one God. Dressed in the same way, just the, just, just two pieces of unswinned cloth. Yeah. cloth. Yes, white. White. The, the women are also in white, but they have a different from head to toe. They are covered in white. Yes. You know when you see that, that scenario? Yeah. You see this is humanity here yeah. yes who are now committed and they have submitted to the will of the will of the creator okay. that's why there is no whether you're a king or you're a poor person who managed to you know save up the money yeah. and go for hajj yeah. yes yeah. whether you're black or white whether you're rich or poor strong or weak they all say what do they say they proclaim the glory of God. Yes? And they say, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik. Yes? And this 
is something that is a universal proclaim. Sorry, it's, they, they proclaim it together, but right? whatever status they are, whatever the background. Yes? Yeah, absolutely. So this is. The last question yeah. I got for you quickly, because I heard you speaking about him a bit. Yeah. So obviously, Christian Catholic, they follow the Holy Trinity, yeah? I believe that, personally, my belief is Jesus was a gift to Mary from God. A gift. He was a miracle, yeah? Yeah, he was a miracle. Gift yeah. upon him, innit? Yeah, like, so, what, what is that your belief as well? Yeah, as a Muslim in fact, faith? you see in the Quran... But obviously, he, G, God ain't Jesus' as well, but Yeah, we don't like, say... Biolo biological. No, no, no. No, it's not biological. In fact, the term... Father is not used for God in the in the Quran, okay. you know, okay. which is the beauty of the Quran because the Quran uses the term Allah, okay. which is a name, yeah. and it is a is a description of God as well. Okay. No other being can be called Allah except the Almighty God. So you're you know why? Upon Mary then. Yeah. So I, I'm just coming to that. Yeah. What I'm saying is that the term Allah is not used for some demigod or semi-god or even like you know they say Lord for the judge in the court. None of that ambiguity is there. Okay. Allah can only mean the Almighty God. Okay. No other being. Okay? Yeah. And he's neither male nor female. Yeah. Yes? The reason the, the Quran uses the term Huwa like he is because in the Arabic language there is no it. Yeah. There is no neutral gender. Okay. Yes? That's why the default is a he. Yeah. And that's the reason. So he's neither a male nor a female. He's Almighty God with this unique yeah. identifier Allah and yeah. the name of God as well. Yeah. And he is the one who is worshipped by the, the righteous people, by all the prophets, by all the messengers. Yeah. Yes, they came with the same message to worship this one God. Yeah. Now, the question about Jesus, yes, in the Quran, yes, what was the first miracle of Jesus compared to the Bible? Do you know? Let's see if you remember what's in the Bible. The first miracle. The first miracle. Turning, turning water to. Turning water to wine. Exactly, that was the first miracle. Yes, even though, even, even though, uh, in Islam, in, in the Quran, what was the first miracle? He spoke when he was an infant in the cradle. Okay. He yes. Spoke words. Yeah. You know, he says, "I am Abdullah. I am the servant of Allah." Yes. And I've been given the knowledge of the Torah and the Injil. Yes, okay. obviously he's, he's saying that he's a prophet of God yeah. and he'll be given this message yeah. later on in his life. But to the to the Jewish people to whom Mary, you know, his, his title in the Quran is Ibn Maryam. Mm. Ibn not, Maryam yeah. not son of God. Yeah, no, I yes. read the Quran yesterday, everything about Mary. Alhamdulillah. So it's Ibn Maryam, means the son of Mary. Because no one can take that son from Mary. Yeah. This is a bond which no one can deny. No. Yes? About God, like you said, but he's not a biological father, so what kind of father is he? Yeah, it can only mean a metaphorical father. Yeah, like just like you know, an uncle will tell you, like he's addressing you, my son, let's go to I don't know, let's go shopping. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, that doesn't mean your uncle and you have this biological relationship. You see what I mean? Yeah, I in in the term in, in the sense of father and son. Uh, so it's, is it's it a, Moses that was with Mary? Moses? Say again? Mo Mary and Moses that was together. But he, I swear um, God said to Moses or something, he said that Moses said, How can I have a child when I've had when I'm too old now basically? Was no, that was uh, that was Zachariah. Zachariah, he said I'm too old now to yes. have a child. And he's like, Don't worry, I'm gonna bless yeah. this upon you. Zachariah, yeah. the father of Mary, isn't it? Yeah, father of Mary. Yeah. Yes. That's so that's a, he had a similar story because and his, the, the plug, the his wife him from the yeah. tree. and also Abraham, Abraham, Abraham as well because yeah, all the prophets are Abraham's wife was also pretty old. All the prophets are related to each other. They are, yeah, yeah. They're all the same related. family. They're yeah. in the same family. Same family, yeah. So Alhamdulillah. So yeah, going back to, to that question about Jesus uh, being, yeah, I was telling the story about Mary. Yeah. And she brought the infant, and yeah. the infant spoke. Jesus. Jesus. He spoke to the. You know why he spoke? You know what is the other thing? Because what was the punishment for someone who committed adultery in an Orthodox Jewish um, tradition at the time of Mary? What would happen if she had a child out of that love? I don't know. Death penalty. Death penalty. She'll be stoned to death. Because okay. that was the punishment for adultery. The Christians don't have an answer how she got away from that punishment. The Quran does. Imagine when they saw the miracle of Jesus speaking as an infant. Yeah. Yes, and declaring that he's a servant of God. Yeah. And he's come with the knowledge of the Torah and Injil. Mm. Yes? Yes. And he's a prophet. Yes. Imagine the looks on their faces. 
because earlier they were actually accusing her accusing of her. all the wrong things you know like you had a child out of wedlock mm -hmm. your father was a devout uh, a believer in god how can you uh, be like that you know mm -hmm. marry how can you be like that yeah. so they they were accusing her accusing. and slandering her mm -hmm. guess how allah saved her from that through Jesus Christ's first miracle. Bro. Alhamdulillah. So come on bro, take the shahada, you're there. Yes. Ima, look, look, you know what, the shaitan, yeah. he will come and tell you. Yeah. Every time he'll whisper in your ear saying, delayed bro, delayed. Mm. You still have a lot to learn still. Mm. You know, we don't need to be scholars. Mm. Your fitra has been awakened and I can see that. Definitely. Yes, Alhamdulillah. This fitra, your natural disposition to be, to, to, uh, to be inclined to believe in God. Definitely. Yes, it's something that has been. So don't delay it bro. No, it's time for you to take the shahada and take the next step to practice Islam. Because the more you delay, the more you're risking your, your eternity. Mm. You know, I don't know what's going to happen to me the next hour or the of next... Course. Exactly. So, before I take that risk yeah. of something happening to me, and I, if I'm convinced, you know, mm. why the delay, bro? What is stopping you? As you said, it's questions. I'm always questioning myself. That's a shaitan. That's a shaitan trick. What you said to me is exactly what's happening. Yeah, bro, honestly. That's the shaitan. You know, one thing that the shaitan promised when God gave him the respite to live until the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. Yes. He said to God that give me a respite until the day of judgment. So I come to 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 the to your to the humans from from above them and below them from the left and from the right yes and basically it's trying to say i will, I will lead them astray yeah. lead them to where my faith has been certain what is his faith to be in jahannam to be yeah. in hellfire forever for eternity he knows his his faith is sealed there's no ifs and buts about it so he's saying that if I, if I go there, I'm dragging as many people as I want to the Jahannam, to Hellfire, which is, brother, if you die upon without Deen, yeah. as your name is, then you don't want to be the Deen in Hellfire. Yeah. You want to be the Deen in Jannah. Yeah. Yes, not in Jahannam. Yeah. So brother, take that step and, and just ignore this waswasas, this, this whispering of the Shaitan, because he's here for your damnation. Don't follow in his footsteps, bro. Are you always here every Sunday? I'm here, but I might not be here and you might not be here. I'm so don't delay, bro. Inshallah. Yeah. May Allah give you hidayah. Yes, and I, really I, I tell the brothers and sisters who are watching this to make dua for Brother Deen to come back to the Thank Deen. You. Yes, but all you have to say is Shahada and Inshallah, practice it after this, yeah? Thank you, my brother. Yes. I wish but you pray. The best. Don't yeah. underestimate the when power of prayer. Pray, pray to God Almighty. I wish you the best, my brother. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please subscribe to Dawah Wise Brothers and Sisters and please make dua for this brother. Inshallah, may Allah give him hidayah. May Allah make whatever obstacles he has in his life uh, to be overcome and come to the deen al-Islam and to practice the deen. And inshallah, keep him firm on the deen once you have established him on that. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.